Hello, welcome to Rear Facing Toddlers. My name is Margaret. On this channel, I mainly do videos about car seats that I sell myself, but I work with car seats and I see many others. And sometimes there'll be certain car seats that many people make the same mistake with over and over again. So when that happens, I think it's worth doing a video just to show what those mistakes are and what you can do to fix them. One of those car seats is this one, the Silver Cross Simplicity Infant Carrier. This is one of the largest infant carriers on the market and yet a lot of people struggle to, to adjust the straps to make it grow with their child and therefore stop using it when the child is about six months old because they think it's now too small. The Silver Cross Simplicity will easily last until the child is around 18 to 24 months old. But the reason that people stop using it at just six months is simply because they don't know how to alter the harness height. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to do it. The Simplicity's harness height in its lowest position looks like that's the only one, when in fact this position is only suitable for a newborn baby. Because the Simplicity's harness height is adjusted from the back of the seat, you can't see the different heights from the front and therefore a lot of people just don't realise that this seat has more than just this one position that only fits newborn babies. In this position it fits this newborn size baby beautifully. But when the baby gets to about six months old, the straps are starting to get a little bit snug. If you put your hand on the baby's shoulder and follow the straps down behind the baby's back, you'll feel that they go quite far down and they are a little bit too low now. And it's at this stage that a lot of people give up on this car seat because they think that their baby has already grown out of it, even though they're only six months old and the seat has a lot more growing room left, but they just don't realise. Because you can only see one harness height position from the front, and presumably because in lots of other car seats you can adjust the harness height by raising the headrest, the mistake that some people make is simply that they pull up this headrest and think that that raises the harness height and it looks like it's higher but actually when you raise the flap of fabric under here you'll see the straps are still coming from down here they're just going up through the fabric come out on this side and when you tighten them all it does is lower the headrest again so raising the headrest on this car seat is not the way to adjust the height of the straps in fact what you need to do to adjust the height of the straps is open the compartment on the back of the seat just squeeze these two levers together and open this flap and inside here is where the harness adjustment is this horizontal bar that has the straps wrapped over it is what adjusts the height that's what determines the height and these little positions here are the different height positions so currently it's in the lowest one and to raise it to one of the others there is a lip of plastic under the bar here you need to lift that up that unlocks it from these side positions and you can then lift it up to the middle one just to choose one and then click that back down and now the straps are higher and they're in the middle position I've now put the six month old baby back in and when I now put my hand on the straps and follow them round, they are level with the shoulders exactly where they should be and also the headrest is above his shoulders and his shoulders aren't squeezed into the headrest which, which was too low before. This is the way that it should look. I'm now just going to open the compartment at the back up one more time just to raise the headrest in the highest position. So you lift up this flap, lift the bar up to the top and push the flap back down again to lock it into place and close the compartment. With the harness in its highest position, the car seat is now big enough for this doll who is the size of a big one-year-old. But even here, I've removed the hood just so that you can see where her head is in relation to the top of the seat. She still has quite a few centimetres left before her head reaches the top. But there is one more thing that you can do to make the seat last even longer. With the harness now in its highest position, the seat is still quite flat. It still has a fairly short torso height. But what a lot of people aren't aware of, that there is actually a wedge cushion under the cover inside the seat here. It's very easy to remove the cushion. All you need to do is lift the flap at the base of the headrest to reveal these two poppers. You undo those poppers one by one and then lift up this bottom part. And inside here is just a small little foam wedge that you just take out like a pillow out of a case. So the bottom part of the cover stays in place, but this cushion is removed for older children. And then you just put the um, cover back in, do the poppers back up again, and lower the backrest flap down over it. And now you've got a lot more depth in the seat. 
I've now put the doll back in with the wedge removed. So as you can see, she's now sitting much further into the seat, deeper down. She's more upright and she has more room above her head. So there's lots of growing room left in the seat. Now, because the wedge has been removed and she's sitting lower down, what has actually also happened is that the harness in its top position is now too high for her. It's right up here when it should be a notch lower. So when you remove the wedge, you usually also have to make the harness a little bit lower down again. So that's how to get the most out of your Silver Cross Simplicity car seat and make it last a lot longer than you might have thought. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time.